Hi everyone, Caitlin here. I am currently six weeks pregnant today. Um, it's pretty early in the morning. Just got out of the shower, just blue dry my hair, so please don't mind my robe and looks. <laughs> so I am, like I said, six weeks pregnant and um, nausea and vomiting has hit uh, full force. And this time around, well, I guess I can't really say that. It does hit me more in the mornings. Um, and it hits me like right after lunch at work, depending on like what I eat. And um, I would say for the past week, I've probably gotten sick at least once a day. Um, there might have been like one day in there that I didn't, but I noticed the main thing, like I want it and I need it because I get headaches if I don't have it. Um, but even with Grace and I had one cup of coffee a day and now I don't know if it's the creamer that I'm using, I don't know. But um, coffee instantly makes me nauseous to the point where I've been like having to run to the bathroom. Yesterday I felt like the exorcist because it was just like projectile coming out and it like came out of my nose and um, so now I'm kind of like turned off by coffee but this morning so far knock on wood I um, had my coffee and instead of using like my regular creamer with grace and I had to switch over to all like diabetic um, obviously because of my gestational diabetes so I did switch over tried today to do the um, fat free creamer and I so far fingers crossed seem to be doing um, okay right now and um, like when I wake up in the morning I am so so hungry to the point where I don't feel good but nothing sounds good to eat um, I did get those like rice cakes um, the Quakers rice cakes because I don't know like I I don't want crackers and that seems to be settling my stomach in the morning so far I've had that the past couple of days and that's been going good I usually try like an English muffin and I don't know it just does not sound good to me right now um, my new main symptoms that I've been having this week is insomnia I cannot sleep for the life of me last night I did sleep better um, I took some Tylenol right before bed because I had a headache and I feel like it relaxed me a little bit more um, but I have been I cannot sleep like the other morning I usually don't wake up for work until 6 o'clock in the morning and I woke up at 4 30 to go pee like I you know I pee a lot at night probably like two or three times a night and um, I woke up to um, go pee and at 4.30 and I could not go back to sleep. I just laid there and I tossed and I turned and um, like I don't know about you ladies but like when I wake up in the morning I feel like all of like my, <laughs> it might sound gross, but like my gas and everything I feel my stomach just like gurgling and then once I stand up like I'm really um, TMI but like I, I'm really gassy in the mornings and like my stomach is just painful and it hurts and so like I think that's one another reason why I can't sleep like once I get up in the morning to go to the bathroom why I just toss and turn so insomnia I just I'm exhausted I feel like a train wreck um, I did nap <laughs> last weekend um, for like almost three hours while Grayson was taking a nap and it was amazing. I never nap because normally when she naps I try to get stuff done around the house and um, but I did take a nap and I felt refreshed and um, let's see other symptoms my boobs still hurt my nose is still very very um, my smells are um, it's crazy like the things that I can smell um, and a lot of this stuff is like, it just turns me off. And if you don't know, I do work in the healthcare setting. So there are many, many smells, um, that I have to smell throughout the day. I have to smell the residents meals and I have to smell obviously like wounds. And, um, if we have patients who are incontinent, I have to smell that vomit, you know, 
Um, being in the healthcare field, I with Grayson, I did pretty darn good. I was even the wound nurse um, of the place that I work at when I um, was pregnant with her, and I did I did okay with smells. There were a few wounds that got to me, but um, this time around, like if I even go past a room, like a room, and I it, it just the smells are terrible. Um, I have had like back aches. Um, I noticed yesterday at work I had just like a, like one of those stress balls and I stuck it, like I, I, the position that I'm in, I sit down more like just in an office setting right now and so I put that ball on the lower back and like was pushing up against my chair and that seemed to help but it's not like a, like a back pain that I'm concerned about like, you know, miscarriage or anything, um, but it is just a constant, like, I'm tired, my body is just um, just exhausted type aching. And so that helps just putting pressure on my lower back. And um, I know I'm going to forget something. I'm terrible at writing these things down. Um, I haven't taken any more tests since the day that I put that video up about being concerned about the first response. I did take one more test the next morning and my line, the control line was lighter. So I had peace of mind and I don't have any more of the, um, any more of these double line tests. I do have one more of the digital weeks indicator test and I, I've been holding off and I haven't taken it and I'll probably take it around, um, since we did lose the baby, the baby did stop growing around the eight week, eight to nine week mark. I might do, if I don't have an ultrasound or anything at that time, I might do, take that test then just to make sure that it still says three plus, just to kind of ease my mind through that week. Um, but I don't think I have anything else like symptom wise to report on. I think that's all. Um, I forgot to tell you guys the other day, um, randomly, I got, uh, I woke Grayson up. And the first, if you didn't know, like my dad, he did recently pass this past year. And just randomly out of the blue, she was talking about her Papal, she calls them Papal in Heaven. And uh, the first thing that she said to me when she woke up, the other morning she touched my belly and she says, she says, um, mama, baby big and strong like Grayson or that baby big and strong like Grayson. And I just wanted to burst into tears. It was the sweetest thing. Um, and like if we're being just turning two in September, she really, she's very, she really understands things. Like she understands this whole Christmas uh, she understands that there is a baby in my belly and she even told me she goes mommy when I get bigger baby in my belly so like she understands it and um, She she told me she goes I help change diapers like she she really gets it and it's so sweet just watching her wheels a turn in and um, She's just she, that comment that she made that she was touching my stomach and just said this baby big and strong like Grayson it just, it gives me a sense of peace, like, okay, like, I'm hoping that this is a sign that everything is going to go good. Um, I don't know, I just, I'm still stressing, but I do, I have a really good feeling this time. I had really good numbers in the beginning, I had a good ultrasound, and um, I'm hoping to hear the heartbeat this weekend on the 28th. And um, I will update you guys that day on on everything at that appointment. So I will show you guys my belly real fast. And um, not much has changed. Still just bloating from progesterone. And I'm in a big oversized. It's actually my husband's robe. So I don't even know if you'll be able to see anything. So please don't mind. You can't even see anything probably. There's like just bloat. So, all right. I will talk to you guys, um, Saturday after my ultrasound. See you later. Bye.